Hi my darlings, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name's Chrissy. I'm so pleased you could stop by. I'd love it if you would subscribe before you leave. To my OGs, don't forget to turn your notification bell on so YouTube can tell you every time I upload a new video. Today I've got a series of three hauls, so I'm going to start off the first one which will be Revolution and Made by Mitchell. So if you'd like to see what I've brought, please continue to watch. Uh, right, I think I will start off with the oldest, I think, first. I wasn't going to get these, you know, I'm never going to get anything, but I always end up buying them, so I don't even know what I saved. Let me just grab some scissors. I bought them both. I bought the, the large and the small one, and this is the Simpsons from Revolution, and it's the Summer of Love. <laughs> I know Robert did a, a Missed Opportunities um video the other day and this was amongst it and it is it's so right it's just not simpsons whatsoever so why i brought it i don't know i really haven't got a clue well i do because i've just got no self-control as always so that one is the summer of love palette the larger one and then I bought the smaller one. This actually reminded me of a Too Faced one. It's almost the same sort of layout, which very unusual, but it's still not much better than this, the large one. And the artwork's great, but it's just, that is the palette. So um, I'm liking that sort of teal shimmer. There, are, there is a few, co a couple of nice little ones in there, but it's um, it doesn't scream Lisa either. I bought the small Coca-Cola one. I, I did say that I wasn't going to buy it because it was eight pound. I managed to get it quite a bit cheaper actually, so I brought that. It's just I haven't even opened this. I've, everything's just been sitting here waiting for me to come back onto YouTube. So as you know, I've been away for a month. Right, there's the packaging, lovely packaging. I think I actually like this one better than the, the large one. I think it's easier to use. Um, they are all shimmers though. But, oh well, so that one's the, the small Coca-Cola palette. The old collaboration with the Simpsons. This one was the Treehouse of Horror. This is a highlighter. I think this was about down to about two pound or something ridiculous. So that is this. Got Bart on the front. It's not a highlighter palette. It's a dark, almost Halloween type of eyeshadow palette. Perhaps I didn't buy the highlighter palette. So you know what? You've got a shimmer and a matte black in there, dark grey, white, red brown, sort of fawny colour. That's, that's not too bad. I mean, you're limited to what looks you've got with it, but it's eight pounds, so that's not too bad. Like I say, for the price, it was a steal. Then this was down to a fiver. So this is the Candy Haze, and I'm actually thinking now, have I actually brought it because it was open? Or have I shown it you? They are all pastels, very, very summery, but very sort of muted. Um, you've got half and half by the looks of it in the foils and mats. It is just a very everyday palette. These are from Revolution Pro. They're the, the Glamour palettes. So I brought um, Golden Hour night out and party time now these was three pound each which i didn't think too was too bad there's six shades each of them as i've mentioned before revolution pro are well they always used to be the sort of better quality shades let me just open them all up should have done this before i started really shouldn't i you can see how, how much out of practice i am nice cardboard packaging nice even to stick in your bag that's actually quite nice you've got five shimmers and a uh, five mats and a shimmer that is 
quite a nice sort of autumn palette it's it's not going to blow your socks off by any means but that's quite a nice palette yes i am saying a brown palette is nice what's going on so that one is the golden hour let me know what swatches you you like this one is night out okay the same sort of packaging that's pretty that is pretty actually you can see you can do some dark looks with that with a bit of glitz and glam it's three pound i'm not gonna moan at that And then we have party time. I forgot what they all look like. I know they do the face palettes as well in them, um, like they sort of blush highlighter contour, but I didn't bother with those. This is pretty. This one is party time. I like that. You know, if it's got this sort of colouring, this is actually this is quite similar to what I've got on today. This is the um, the Roxy collection from Revolution that they've just brought out. If you've uh, not watched my video from Sunday, I will link that down below. It's a really nice little palette. Right, so that one is the night. A party toy. We're getting through them. Have some random skincare here. I think this was by one get one half price. I think it was super drug maybe. I'm not sure. Could it could even be boots. And so I bought a new cloud plot primer. I do really like this. It is so nice. It's just so, so light, but I do like that. This first primer I've run out of in ages, but I do like that one, so I brought that. I've never tried anything from Planet Revolution because they always seem to be really expensive, but I did see these highlighters and I've looked at them since they've come out, but I refused to pay what they was charging for them. I think these was a fiver. Right, so nice packaging it is literally just uh, cardboard so you can throw away that's nice that is really pretty shall we have a little look feel nice because I've, ne I've never tried anything from planet revolution before so so nice those are pretty they're very nice Oh, okay. So that one is the rainforest one. It's, I like it. And this one is Earth. The other one that they've got, I can't remember what it was called, but it was for a deeper skin tone. This is a little bit deep, I must say. It might be a little bit too deep. But it also looks like the, the next lot down from uh, the lighter one, but we'll try. Feel beautiful and the the embossing on them is gorgeous. Um, yeah, they are just a little bit deeper. Wow, they can be used as eyeshadows actually. They're far too deep. The top ones though are my colours, so that's a definite. But like I said, there was a fiver, I think. So there wasn't too bad for three different colours. But well, that's another th another two to my collection. And if you've been here before, you know I've got a little bit of an obsession with liquid blush. So I bought some of the liquid um, eyeshadow. So I went on and bought five of the liquid blush. So we have got um, peach filter, which is self-explanatory. Then we have Dolly Rose. Then we have a deep, deeper one here, which is called Rose Rose Lust. That's nice. That's my type of colour. Then we've got this beautiful orangey colour colour called Glam Orange. That is lovely. And then this bright pink called savage coral i wouldn't have thought that was a coral it looks more more pinky pink but we'll have a look at those 
I might actually have to do a swatches of all the, uh, the liquid blushes now. And then I had another two of the shadow bombs. I, I showed you like a teal colour the last time. Well, I've had the purple and blue this time. These are six pounds, so they are a, a, a decent price, and there is quite a lot of product in there. So, shall we have a look at the little look at these? Because I did show you the teal colours, didn't I? Oh wow! Okay, look at these. Not, they're not sort of metallic or metallic or anything like that. They are just a cream, cream eyeshadow. So they look nice. Though. They look nice together as well. They've got a bit of a sheen on them. We'll see what they're like anyway. So those are the two shadow bombs. Talking of purple, they. Revolution Reloaded haven't bought anything out for ages and they bought a couple of the um, eyeshadow palettes out a few weeks ago which I hadn't tried. They bought a highlighter and a blusher in purple. Look at those. How pretty are those? Now this isn't for an everyday look. This is a special look. It really is but how gorgeous are they? I just can't get over those. I mean, when do you ever wear, or when do you ever see like a plummy purple blush? I mean, you do see highlighters with a tinge of purple in sometimes, but these are really special. Shall you have a look? Oh, okay, so this is the blush, oh, and this is the highlight. That is something really different, isn't it? I don't know when I'll be wearing them, but just to have them in the, in my collection for something different, that'd be beautiful. That highlighter, you know, I love a highlighter. But... Wow. Well done, Revolution, for sort of thinking outside the box. That is really, really nice colours. So those are the two reloaded ones. Now, talking of purples and pinks and blues, Real Love have just brought it out. Three new different colours of mascara. And so, you know I have to have them. So you've got the pink, you've got the purple and the blue. And to go with them, I have to buy the eyeliners as well. So I'm looking forward to having a play with that. These look lovely together. Oh, they have got other colours as well. I can't remember what they was, maybe. I don't know, but like I say, I mean, there was three for two, so I had three of them, three of them, three of the others, and so, you know, you have to get your money's worth, don't you? I picked up this one. This is the XX Revolution Bitter Peach Palette. Um, I have opened this one, and it's a bit meh, if you want the honest truth. I do like XX Revolution. The packaging is beautiful. It's that iridescent peachy colour. It is stunning but inside's a bit of a letdown if you want the honest truth they actually remind me of the wild animal collection which is sort of on offer for about three pound at the moment but it's just an autumn palette isn't it there's just i don't know there's just not a lot going on there i've been sucked into it again haven't i so i'm not going to swatch them just in case i don't want it I'll probably keep it, you know what I'm like. But yeah, that is they have got another one. Um it was the mint one. Perhaps I, I thought I won't won't get the mint because I've had a lot of greens just lately, but I probably would have done better having the mint. I'll wait for it to go on that offer and I'll see. I'll have a word with myself. That's XX Revolution. Then we've not got a lot left actually now. Um we had, don't take the mic please, Teresa, I know, I know what you're going to say, you idiots, that's what you're going to say, so they, uh, Revolution, or High Art Revolution is it, High Art Revolution come out with these almost like sort of elf come Natasha Denona um, dupes, so we've got, it was three for two, come on, come on, you, you know, be nice. You've got the 
them they're called the mini match palettes I'm not even going to look at you I'm just going to leave them there so peach fried egg I can't look at you I have such a mug. That's the fried egg. This one is, this just looks like a smiley face one. I don't know what it's supposed to be. It's just a mishmash of crap. I mean, the shimmers don't look too bad, especially these two here. But what a weird thing, what a weird set of colors to put together. I don't know who's bought these out. I really don't. Then you've got the peach palette. I don't know what to say. And then just let, let's hope the daisy one is the best of the bunch. It's okay. So I don't know what to say. They've had me again, haven't they? So. Hmm. I'm just, I'm saying, I'm not going to mention these again. Not in the slightest. But, talking of little palettes, these are actually better. These were, was £3. And these have literally only just come out. I'm just trying to get it open for you. These are both from Real Love. And you have the Fearless Shadow Palette and the Sincere. Sincere is my 5 by 4 and that is the fearless these are worth some money they're three quid you get six shades two of them are larger pans obviously but i like these far better than i like these ones for a fiver then we have the newest forever flawless and this one is desert desire beautiful Beautiful packaging as always. I don't know. Just, I don't know what to say. What can I say? Surely we've got these be uh, before. I like the purple, I like the pink. But, I don't get it. Am I just missing the point here? I don't know. Well, anyway, I've kept, I've had it because uh, this is my collection of Forever Flawless and it's ever growing. So it's almost silly not to carry it on. I don't know how long they're going to keep it on because I mean, if it's anything like the, the chocolate palette will be in years. The last thing I brought, I've actually got on my eyes today and Roxy came out with their for a fourth collaboration with Revolution. So. We have this beautiful little palette. Roxy's done her own artwork on this as well, which is really nice. So this is going to look a bit battered now because I have been in it, but the picture is um, repeated on the palette. And they are tiny pans, but they're not too bad. It, in my opinion, it could have done with a darker purple, like a darker matte, just to finish it off because there's, n there's nothing deep. There's just need some depth there. That is the Cherry Blossom palette. She did bring out a lip kit, but it was a gloss and a liner, so I didn't buy it. But the other two things were a duo cream blush, which are beautiful. These are the cream blush. You've got Sakura and you've got Orange Blossom. These are really pretty. I literally only tapped a little bit on there and it, the pigment on it is amazing to finish off the collection there is two liquid highlighters which they're okay one's a gongly color and one's a champagne color they okay they're okay you just if you want a bright highlighter you need to sort of layer it up a little bit but that is roxy's collection which is it's a really pretty one um and that is all I've bought from Revolution up to now. That is probably the last couple of weeks, maybe a month. I've been trying to be really good, but you can see I, it hasn't worked. Um, other than that, I found TikTok shop. 
say no more. Oh, my days. My new outlet of bargains. If you buy things on TikTok, you usually buy them a lot cheaper. And they usually come with free packaging as well. And they come within a couple of days. Uh, I think the courier, courier they're using is every or something like that. I think they've taken over from Hermes and they are quick. So, I've had a few Mitchell products. I'm waiting. I was having a word with myself the other day and the um, the lights bundle was £17. I thought, no, I'll have it another day. Well, it hasn't been on since, so I'll have to wait until that comes back. The first thing I had was the new Swirl bundle package. It's Swirl Friend. So it is a liner palette. These are beautiful. Look at these. Now, Mitchell does know what he's doing. He really does. He's a makeup artist. He knows what he likes, and he is actually putting that effort into his products so I had the bundle which is included this and the swirl activator well it's like a sort of mixing medium to make it into a nice liquid and and then come with a liner brush so I had that first and then I had the all smudge all budge pride liners and I think these was 12 or 15 pounds for all of them and um, they are lovely they're really really nice let me just show you let me just show you the green one because everybody loves the green okay i've got these other ones and they are really nice so look at that color on there it don't look it looks dimmer than it actually is because the the brightness of the lights is sort of drowning it out a little bit but that is a lovely color so there's orange red blue green purple and this yellowy colour. So those were my Mitchell things. I am still waiting for a few things to come from TikTok shop. I keep on going on and having something else and having something else. So I need to calm down in a minute. Um, so that is my revolution and made by Mitchell Hall. I've got another two hauls coming. It was just there was just too much for me to get through in one sitting or two so i've just split it into three my next one is going to be beauty bay what have i got beauty bay super drug and like my um, amazon or aliexpress things then i've also got one from morphe because morphe has been having a crazy sale on with also my p louise monthly box as well so if you do want to have a look at that, just keep an eye out for it. It'll be up in a couple of days. If you have enjoyed my haul, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. That would be amazing. And if you haven't already and you do like the look of my channel, please consider subscribing. I will see you in a few days. So I'd love it if you enjoyed me. Until then, please take care of yourselves and stay safe. Love you loads. Bye.